The New York governor reportedly giving special treatment to members of his family by getting special access to tests while they were in short supply for everybody else, including his Q-tip loving brother, Chris, who was diagnosed with COVID last year. CNN is getting ripped to shreds after trying to defend the anchor, claiming he simply, quote, turned to anyone he could for advice and assistance as any human being would, end quote. All right, Greg, you know I like perks. Yes. I'm all about it. <laughs> Me too. I like special treatment too. Yeah. Some of the things I like the most. <laughs> so tell me, I'll play devil's advocate. If you're the governor and you have access to tests and your brother has the sniffles, maybe send him a free test by one of your guys. Is that so bad? They, uh, they scratched each other's backs with that giant Q-tip. Like, uh, they, you know, he went on his <laughs> brother's show. He gets the testing. So is this another story? that Chris can't report on because he can't do the nursing homes. He can't do sexual harassment. The COVID test scandal, pretty soon all Cuomo is going to be able to report on is what Brian Stelter had on his corn dog. But here's why it matters. It's a funny story, but here's why it matters. Chris Cuomo and I would say Don Lemon are the faces of the shame network, right? They, CNN is the shame network. From 9 a.m. to midnight, all they do is shame you about race, gender, income, COVID practices from their remote perch of high morality. They smear Americans left and right, and their primary mode of demonizing is always privilege. And this is a story about privilege, right? So think about this. I love that Q-tip. While they were doing prop comedy right there, the media also indulged it. Celebrities loved it, overlooking the constant death at the nursing home. So people are dying. So my theory is, the Q-tip killed way more people than QAnon ever could, but it was CNN who did the special on QAnon. They should have done a special on what was going on with that Q-tip. <laughs> All right, Dana, what was, how, what was CNN's response? Do you think that yeah. uh, passed muster yeah. with you? I know you're uh, like uh, the best analyst when it comes to press releases. Oh, thank you so much. Um, he, I, I love that they, again, trying to shame people. Like, yeah. how dare you question <laughs> yes. that Chris Cuomo, who was not feeling well, yes. was just being a, a human just like anybody else and reaching out to his brother, the governor, to get a test before anybody else could. I mean, obviously anybody would do that, they're saying. Um, and also, like, Chris Cuomo talking about humanity, that guy <laughs> staged his reemergence from the basement after he had broke his quarantine. Yes. That's crazy. Yeah. If, I were CNN, no fight, if I were the CNN spokesperson, I would have said, Chris, you're on your own on this one. <laughs> um, Juan, are you going to tell me that DeSantis also gave free tests to family members? Don't, don't, don't talk about DeSantis, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Don't, I want, I want, but you, since you brought him up. I'm glad you took care of it for me, Jesse. Uh, but I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but I will say that, you know, I think this is an example to my mind, abuse of public trust, especially when it comes to a benefit to your family or to your friends or to your, you know, the people who are in your inner circle. I think that is something that people know about. It, it, it hits a voter like where you live. It's like, hey, you know what? The elites take care of each other. They don't take care of me. Right. And that could move polls that have shown most yeah. people don't think that he should resign, that they're willing to wait for him to not leave until 2022 and not run a fourth time. The other point, though, and this goes to what you mentioned about that Florida governor, and you told me not to name him, I won't, <laughs> is that I think uh. that if I was the press secretary for 49 other governors and thousands of mayors in this country, I would be like, whoa, I don't know what's coming if they look at me, because I think a lot of politicians play this game. I do. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he's got sexual harassment. He's being impeached. He's got the nursing home. There's a lot going on for old Governor Cuomo. Yeah, he's just getting caught. Right, Katie? Right. Yeah, it's a big issue because it's in a pile of other scandals that he has going on, including the 15,000 uh, nursing home deaths. But the swamp is not just in Washington, D.C. It exists in a number of state capitals all over the country, and that's just another example of it.